Hi, Nigel Goff here. We're just going to do a quick concept sketch demonstration today using Sketchbook Pro, mimicking a analog sketch process. So we're going to initially uh, lay out some uh, preliminary massing using a pencil tool on a construction layer. This would be the same uh, if done on white paper using a blue pencil or a ballpoint pen. And we're just getting the overall mass of the design and then as you can see progressively breaking it up into secondary forms. So we've lightly got those lines down on the page and we're initially dealing with elements at the front of the design in order to give ourselves a sense of a lens structure on the night uh, goggles. So you can see the connection there. Once we've got a square surface on the front of the image we can then establish where the midpoints are on the uh, square and they represent the connection points of any ellipses that we'll be drawing to represent uh, cylinders that form part of the design. Okay, in this particular case, the front of the binoculars. We're then cutting into that design in order to create the lenses behind and we're progressively adding and subtracting the forms from that overall form in order to sculpt the design from the page. Now by any, me by any means this isn't the only way that we can concept design but it's a useful standard within the industry. Okay, our initial line work is progressively being built on the page. We don't have a finished form in mind while we're doing this. Generally we're talking to other designers or we're speaking to our client in order to establish a degree of confidence and communication in the design project. So we're now uh, progressively doing the back of the design and we're adding a little infrared scope to the right hand side of the, uh, of the binoculars and we can see we can evolve the design on the page. So we would do a finished sketch by overlaying a sheet of paper or digitally putting a layer over the top to present our final design image but during the, the initial stages of the design process whether that's analog or digital we're trying to treat this, this as part of a dynamic approach to the design. So it, it's an item that we accept is in a state of flux. We never present our first idea because we can always come up with better ones and we're evolving the design on the idea on the page. Once we've come up with our design idea, in order to have a, a sense of visual presentation, we lay in some simple shading in order to establish the lit face, the front face and the return faces of the design such that we can get a, a sense of where the direction of light is coming from and therefore we can give a sense of mass and solidity to the illustration accordingly. So you can see in this case the light's coming from the upper right hand side of the page and we're just dropping shadows on the left hand side and they can only they only have to be fairly rough and ready at this stage because the underlying line work you can see there at the construction lines are part of the quality of the image so if we're working in analog in this case the same process would uh, occur uh, if we were working with marker so once you have a logic for doing things on plain white paper uh, quickly in a classroom or a studio setting you can then transfer this same logic into a digital format using a program like Sketchbook Pro. We can convey different materials so we've got rubber with its diffused light and shading effects at the back, we've got the dark shadows of the lenses and we've got the standard plastic or metal finish to uh, the body of the binoculars. We've dropped in a ground shadow to give it a sense of connection to the, the surrounding area and we've added a gradient to give it a, an overall composition in the space, a sense of a ground plane. Okay, then we can spend as much time as we need in order to refine the detail. So if we have a particular image on the page which we think is uh, the one that we particularly want to draw attention to or explore, we can refine the highlights, we can remove the uh, uh, the, the unnecessary construction lines but at the end of the day the important thing at, in terms of this demonstration is to be aware that you produce multiples of these, sketches, of these sketches rather than going with the first idea in your head. It's meant to be an integral part of your design process rather than just a dedicated step at the end of your thinking and you're doing all of your thinking as tiny thumbnail sketches. These are relatively big drawings on the page and that way we can explore things quite fully. So now you can see the finished presentation as it would be seen on screen or presented in hard copy back to our client.
Okay, hope that's of use.